What's up, everybody? Man, it's your boy, Mr. Duga, coming at y'all with another episode of Dropping Dimes with Mr. Duga. Hey, and today I'm going to talk about, man, the LSU Tigers um, made a surprising and quick move at the same time. Um, we have fired offensive coordinator James Craig and quickly hired, I mean, offensive line coach, I'm sorry, offensive line coach James Craig and quickly hired Arkansas's offensive line coach Brad Davis to replace him, yo. I'm going to just give my thoughts and everything on that. Um, before I get into this video, man, for everyone, if you want to give me a follow on my social media platforms, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, I'm going to have all that information down in the description box. May not always get a chance to respond to questions and comments on these videos. Uh, so feel free to DM me whenever I get a chance so I'll get back at you. Um, come holla at your boy, yo. <clears throat> um, surprising move, surprising. Um, to me, the timing of it was surprising in a way, but then in a way, I also understand it. Um, you know, you would think that you would probably want to make a move like that prior to spring. You know, to where the, the upcoming offensive line could get more equated with the new offensive line coach. Um, but I guess, you know, I went to the spring game and I know a lot of, I, I told people, I wasn't completely high on the offensive line after that performance show. Um, you know, I know LSU has some really good defensive linemen, but I felt like it was too many times that they got into the backfield, you know, and that it wasn't enough holes created for the running backs. Um, and this unit, I feel like really, really struggled last season, struggled mightily, um, especially when you look at that Texas A&M game <clears throat> when they couldn't do anything. I mean, the running game was awful last year and that, and in that A&M game, I mean, TJ Finley had absolutely no time to throw. I don't care who was back there. Like nobody would have had time to throw in that game. Um, and when you have a veteran offensive line returning, basically your whole offensive line, you want to maximize that opportunity and have the best season that you could possibly have out of all those guys, you know, as a collective group. Um, and I know this offensive line is capable of being better. I mean, look, we won the, the, the Joe Moyet Award two years ago, the best offensive line in the country. And honestly, I, they was really good. You had guys like Shadiq Charles and Damian Lewis, you know, on the, um, along that offensive line. Um, but at the same time, you know, I know Jambalaya Joe Burrow had a lot to do with that, the way, you know, he maneuvered in the pocket and bought himself more time. Um, but, you know, it, it's surprising, but at the same time, this offensive line got to be better. Um, and another thing, you know, when you look at us bringing in Brad Davis, um, he's a Louisiana native. Uh, he went to Bel Air High School, um, you know, and the thing that, you know, I see about him is he's a very, very good recruiter. He's a tireless recruiter. Um, LSU got three offensive linemen that they're trying to bring in, yo, um, four and five stars. So, you know, you bring him in um, and, you know, maybe you got a better shot at that um, with his track record you know, of being, you know, a pretty good recruiter. Um, also, I think another thing, too, with LSU, which is I'm glad we made this type of move because you got to, like, understand and, and, and for show your dominance along, you know, the West. You know, schools like LSU and Alabama, um, you know, Auburn, a and m they're better right now. They're better and more powerful football programs, you know, than the Arkansas, Ole Miss, and Mississippi State. So if LSU feels like they got to make a move to improve in a situation um, along a, um, a position, you know, on the coaching staff, and there's somebody you identify from one of those schools, you go get them. Like, you, you a bully. Like, LSU is a bully compared to Arkansas. So you take their coach. Plus, he's a Louisiana native, which helps also. Um, but, you know, the thing I like about him, like I said, he's a he's a good recruiter, which apparently the word is he's a, mu a much better recruiter than James Craig is or ever was. Um, and another thing I think that we need to find out, I don't know if he's going to start this year, but one of the, the biggest mysteries along the LSU offensive line is What's going on with Cardell Thomas, yo? This guy came in as a highly, the number one guard in the nation, guard prospect in the nation. Uh, Five-star recruit right at, you know, out of Southern Lab. And he, he can't even get on the field. You know, this is his third season, and he can't even get on the field. And maybe Coach O felt like James Craig was not 
getting his potential out of him. So bringing in another guy, you know, to um, help with a veteran offensive line that should already be have that cohesion, but with a, just a different schematic scheme, just different tutelage, um, a better recruiter, um, and then the guy that maybe could get to a Cardell Thomas, maybe a guy that Cardell Thomas, you know, would – not to say he didn't listen to James Craig, but a guy that could get it out of him. You know what I'm saying? Um, so we'll see how that goes, man. Um, look, I'm, I didn't expect this to happen, but at the same time, I understand it. I'm cool with it. Um, the offensive line was, was, was not very good last year. Um, I didn't think it was great in the spring game. So I'm good. To, I'm glad to see what they do with a new offensive line coach who has a pretty good um, resume. Uh, but with that being said, yo, that's all I got for y'all today. Appreciate y'all checking out the video. Hit the like button for your boy. Give me a subscribe. I have LSU and NCAA content throughout the year. Also, this coming Monday, I'm going to have a live Q&A. Y'all come on there, ask me anything, tell me anything. I'll answer your questions, respond to your comments, and give you a shout out on the live. And also, on Thursday, I will have the premiere of my two-hour call-in show. Um, where y'all just give me a call and when I pick up, I'll talk to you. Um, you know, it should be a lot of fun, man. It'll be my first time doing it. Uh, but until then, y'all have a blessed one. Go Tigers.